Hello YouTube, this is my attempt at spin welding a freshwater holding tank for an RV. Um, this wasn't a planned project. I had the tank out for unrelated issues and had this disc where they cut out one of the fittings floating around inside of it and I couldn't fish it out. So I cut a hole in the top thinking it would be easy to re-glue or reattach or whatever, something to fill the hole later. And it turns out there's no glue that sticks to the stuff readily available. And uh, none of the RV shops anywhere local or anywhere else uh, would either do it or do it for a reasonable price. Um, and so I, a lot of the places on that sell the fittings um, recommend you have a router and they're a bit that cost, uh, I don't know, somewhere up, upwards of $100 if I recall correctly. Um, and I didn't really want to do that. Um, and so I'd kind of come up with the idea of using an um, angle grinder. Um, and I saw a guy do with an air cutoff and it worked for him, but his, his fitting that he was installing was much smaller. Um, I did actually find another guy that used an angle grinder and it looked successful for him. Um, I went out and got a, a larger one than the one I had previously because mine was only uh, like a four or four and a half amp. And this one has a trigger um, off and on, which seems like it'd be more stable than mine that you had to kind of fumble with the switch on the side or whatever. Um, I guess that being said, um, I got a adapter, an extension. I bought this on eBay. I had to grind the inside of it out a little bit to get it to seat all the way down uh, to the whole bottom of the angle grinder, which wasn't a big deal. Um, and then I had this made and then I threaded it, uh, 5 8 uh, 11 thread, but it doesn't seat because of the um, shank on that. It's not threaded all the way to the bottom. So I got some washers here, the local hardware store, just to try to make it pretty flush with the end. Which probably, honestly, I could have put two on there and it wouldn't have mattered since my fitting's hollow in the center anyways, but this way it looks better to me, so give it just a second here. Um, and this was cut out with a plasma torch, and so between the plasma torch and me threading it by hand, um, it wobbles a little bit, but this is a one-time deal. So if you're gonna make your own tool for professional use, probably put it on a lathe and use a, a drill bit. Anyways, uh, so it's got the four holes and I just measured these up and kind of approximated since they're not exactly perfect, but they line up very well on there. This, I got it on the internet um, and it fits in the hole pretty snug. It doesn't have a lot of play in it, which is what you want. Um, and that, I'll go ahead and plug it in and put my gloves on. And if uh, it's successful, you can watch this video on YouTube. And if not, well, nobody will ever hear me talking. So here it goes. And the theory is you're supposed to, this one's 11,000 RPMs. I've read all kinds of different varying RPMs. This seems to be kind of the lower middle end of what's recommended. So, um, and I, I did uh, deburr this or try to with a piece of emery cloth and then wiped it off with some um, acetone before doing this. And the theory is you're supposed to have it in there, nice snug fit. Uh, put a medium pressure down on it and spin it until the plastic kind of becomes molten and then not go too far because it'll just make the hole bigger and push it into the tank. But um, here it goes. Just make sure it's flat. And
it looks like the one side went in further and I didn't push down enough on the other. Um, and you're supposed to leave it set before you goof with it, but I didn't realize it went in at an angle, but I think it will uh, work just the same.